Hi and welcome back. Today we are showing you cross braided pigtails. This style takes about 15 minutes and you just need to know how to do a three strand braid. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the center part. Just a tip, if you use the nose as a guide, you can come straight up and it gives you a true center part. And then you want to come down to the middle of the nape of the neck where the neck kind of dents in in the back. From here, I'm just loosely securing the left side off so that the right side, I can make another part. This is going to be in four sections. So you see I'm putting the back section of this right side into a pigtail. And then I'm gonna come over to the other side, my right or your left, and make another part right behind the ear. So this is about a third to a half of the hair that I am sectioning off on each side from front to back. We're going to create another pigtail that's even with our pigtail on the other side. So you'll have two back pigtails, and then we are going to make two front pigtails. You will see me using spray gel and water. I've linked these products in my description below. I like to spray the gel in the hair and then comb it through. It gives you a nice secure hold and many less flyaways. And you are going to want something that holds the hair like this spray gel for this style because it's going to have a neater appearance. It's going to stay better all day and the style is really gonna pop. It's really a cute one. So after I have my front pigtails both in place, we are going to start the braiding process. Now the braiding is what takes the bulk of the time. Each front pigtail I'm going to split into three because I'm going to create three braids from each front pigtail. Again, I'm spraying the gel and you can spray water through the strand and then comb it through. If you don't use product on these little braids, you're gonna notice that they're gonna start splitting and you're gonna have a ton of flyaways. So I'm creating my first three strand braid. Once I get so that the braid is long enough to reach the opposite back ponytail, I'm going to secure it with an elastic, but I wanna make sure that it is going to reach first before I stop the braid. You really don't need to braid longer than that because the braid is going to stop at that back adjacent ponytail. So it's long enough now. I'm just loosely securing this braid with an elastic so that it stays as my place marker so that I know how long to braid my other braids. Again, I'm using my product, combing it through, and then creating another braid, and I want it about the same length as my first braid that I did, so I can kind of use that as a guide. Loosely securing with an elastic. The elastic should be tight enough to hold the braid, but loose enough that you can simply pull it out um, at the end of the style. So I'll wrap it around like two or three times. I'm just going to do my third and final braid on this left side and I will have three braids. I'm just gonna repeat this process on the other side. You see I've got it long enough that it will reach to my adjacent back ponytail. So I'm going to secure it off and start on the second braid. The style is a fairly simple one. It just takes a little bit of time. The braiding took me like seven or eight minutes to do all of those braids. So parting the style out took me about five minutes, braids seven to eight minutes, and then another few minutes to connect them in the back. Once you are here, you will have three braids on each front ponytail, and we are gonna start crossing them in the back. From a back view, I'm going to take the braid on the very left and cross it over, and then take the braid on the very right and cross it over. Then I'm going to take the middle bra braid place it below the braid that I just crossed and secure it with a clip, just as a placeholder for now. I'll take the middle braid to the left and cross it over and under, and then repeat one more time over and over on the left side. So I have each side secured off with clips and I'm just going to rearrange them how I want. I will bring them over into that ponytail and secure them with an elastic. And remember how I said to keep the elastics loose on those braids so you can just pull them out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. 
I'm just going to secure them with an elastic. Make sure that you pull them tight enough that you get that desired X effect. So you can rearrange the braids once you're done to get them to look how you want to look. And after I pull these elastics out, I'm going to give you one more look at the style. So here it is. It looks a lot harder than what it is, and it's a style that we always get compliments on. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.